Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy John from the Game Dude here welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Um, sorry if my voice is shaky as heck. Uh, it is a morning recording, which is something you guys don't usually get out of me. Typically I'm recording at night, but I kind of felt like sp uh, pr pretty spry this morning. So I have, of course, coffee in hand while we uh, figure out what happened to Tenko. Because, oh my god, last episode I got triggered with steam so if you guys did not see it you guys should totally see it it was an hour of insanity literally over an hour of insanity and then steam decided to join in on the fun so we still have to investigate everything here we haven't even touched investigation in tanko situation monokuma is trying to brush off tanko's death but i doubt that it'll be brushed off it is definitely gonna be something that gets talked about for sure oh hold on yep there's still something that's got to be investigated here. Yes, there's a lot that needs to be investigated. The white cloth. Is it bloodied? That's a good question. Is this bloodied? It's the white say, uh, sheet that we use for the seance. This was placed on top of the cage. Kyo was the one who removed it. Is this... This cloth is pretty thick. It is similar to the window curtain, but it has completely opaque. Or, but it's completely opaque. And on the back? Ah, there's a blood stain. Okay, this is what I expected. Look, there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But, but, no hole in the fabric. Which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through the cloth. Interesting. What? Okay. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. White sheet has been added to the true bullet section. Interesting. Okay, so there's... So it wasn't like... What could it have been then? Like how... Hmm. Could it be misdirection? Dog statue. The wooden dog statue has been used in the seance. I believe it's called the dog cod? Dog god? During the seance, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I remember correctly, Kyo said it weighed about 175 pounds, so that's the, about a, the weight of two girls. What? What do you know about girls? Have you ever touched a woman besides your mother? Uh, what? Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> is this? If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Teko could would have been able to get out easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you are right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. <laughs> I mean, Tenko's... Or not Tenko. Um, Maki's got a great ability to just kind of be seriously joking. I love it. I'm here for it. Dog statue's been added to the truth bullet section. Oh, I didn't... Okay, so th like, okay, so Tenko's entirety... Like, her entire thing is going to be... The ruined magic circle. This is the magic circle that Kyo drew on the floor. Well, at least it was. Oh, dear. It has been completely stomped over. <laughs> I suppose it was unavoidable. Well, it was this. Was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a séance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling all right? You sound ridiculous. 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 I've performed many successful séances. Why I have had the spirits enter my bar? Right already. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of reflect refreshing, actually. Honestly. Yeah, this, this crew does have a tendency to do that, so Maki just getting straight to the point is really nice. I, I don't disagree with Shuichi here. But in any case, uh, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should not It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Yes, it is! And Kokichi yeah. has that. Isn't that right, Kyo? He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. The magic circle... Correcchio Drew has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Tenko's body. We gotta investigate that. The, the rock. The marker stone. There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be... That's the marker stone. It's the stone that uh, made, we made sure that she was in that spot. Please rest your forehead upon this stone maker. I Our marker that I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker on, for her forehead to rest upon. 
like this. <clears throat> Teko had her forehead on the rock hunched over. She had made herself small so she could fit inside the cage. The marker's note has been added to the truth blood section of the handbook. So this blood shouldn't be dry. So we'll find out. Tanko's body. Tanko's dead body. She took her last breath, crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma, her only injury was a stab wound to her neck. This wound was fatal. Hmm. This must have caused an instant death. I didn't hear her scream during the seance. Oh, wait. The thunk. I, I understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? It's a Tenko thing, though. I could, I could totally, <clears throat> I could totally see Tenko trying to be a trooper, and like, even though she literally is getting crushed and killed, like, literally hold back the pain so that way she can just be there for her best friend. I could absolutely see it, and that would, that would be saddening, but it's so true. Nope. Her death might not have been in, or her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone f far before she bled out. Huh? What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With the wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um. You speaking from experience? Uh, that's obvious. Of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes sense. By the way. The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. You're right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon around. That could be a clue. Tenko's last moments has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopod. The cage. There we go. Now we can investigate the cage. I wanted to investigate it earlier, but it didn't let it didn't let me because I was too far away. So now I can actually investigate it. This cage is used in the sand. Is this? It looks like to be about three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron cage. Okay. Big enough to fit a person inside. Yes, it is. During the seance, Kokichi and I covered Tenko with the cage. We were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Yeah, we have to explain this to Maki, because Maki hey. doesn't know any of this. Hey, look at this. Is this? A bloodstain at the bottom of the cage. Probably Tenko's blood, yeah? That's true. Yeah, I imagine so. This splatter must have been made when she was killed. What do you mean? Which means Tenko was killed while she was inside the cage. Okay. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the seance. Tenko was alive under the cage, yes. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. Then? If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain the blood stain, right? If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain this blood stain. So we're talking about at the end of the seance, Maki? Because that points to somebody. Which is funny, because I literally made a, a laughy, laughy, joke, joke. This would be kind of, not in video, but like off, off the camera, where like uh, I had a silly hypothesis that it could have been Himiko, like crazy enough. Like, I feel bad for her, and I really hope it's not her, but I had a really silly thought process that it could be Himiko, because who would expect her to kill Tenko and Angie? Absolutely no one. So, that's why I, like, kept her safe initially. I was like, I feel bad. Like, raw emotions got to me. But logic then went... Well, not... Is it really logic? No. But, like, a weird thought process came to me. Like, if I were in a situation where I was forced to kill, obviously I would try and refrain from it and avoid it best I can. But it would be the people, unfortunately, that I would least expect. Like, that way, it would be less of, like, attention to me. Um, and then, you know, that would backfire. But, you know, it's fine. Huh? Huh? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance. But the exact moment the cage was lifted? That's a possibility. The iron cage has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. But... No, because we literally saw blood on the ground. So she was dead before, then that just contradicts that entire thought process, right? Because there's literally blood on the ground when 
the cage it, when it pans over to Kokichi. Unless my brain literally... No, I just edited that episode. I'm going to have to relook at that. I'm going to have to relook at that. But I swear there's blood on the ground before that happens when it pans to Kokichi. And that's why I was upset. Because I saw the blood. So unless my brain literally manufactured her blood on the ground, which is absolutely ins uh, insane if that happened, then, yeah, like, it's not. it wouldn't have been at that exact moment. We'll find out. We'll find out if I'm crazy. I could possibly be. Is there going to be more that we can... Ex oh, yeah, there we go. Wait. I saw a different thing. It was, like, covered floor. Tanko's body. Ah, there it is. Cork board floor. Or the crooked floor. <gasps> oh! Could they have stabbed her through the... Bruh. No, because she was... No, 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 no. She was faced like this. They couldn't have done it that way. Ah, this floorboard is loose. And it's the one right under Tenko. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? If I remember correctly... It wasn't like this before. It must have happened or come loose during the seance. Why? Why would it come loose during the seance? But... A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. The loose floorboard has been added to the truthful section of the handbook. Himiko, let's talk. Let's figure this out. Hey! Himiko! Hey, Himiko! Be strong, Himiko! Gata, if you shake Himiko that much, she's going to break. What? But she's not talking. It's like Himiko's not even here. Like I thought. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her alone for now. Mm. Uh, okay. Himiko. Oh, is that all? There's still... Okay, good. There's still stuff to investigate. Cool. I was like, bro, is that like... Is that... Okay. No, we're fine. Um, who do I talk to then? Kokichi, maybe? It might not even be an individual person. Man, what a lame function. Uh, you should have made him like a transformer or something. Uh, I actually think it's pretty cool. <laughs> this investbaton or investibaton or, or investibaton oh, is over and shut. Um, it's like all oh, thanks to me for giving Kibo this new function. Now then. Cunt Foo Killer obvious is obviously what a you stupid assholes who signed up to do the bullshit sales in the first place! No. Uh, uh, no, not necessarily. Huh? Seriously? This sales was clearly set up to lure her in and kill her! How could someone have who wasn't in the room kill her? So you believe that Tekka was killed during the seance? Fucking moron! There's no other possibility, shit for brains! God, you don't even know that! Is it true that Tenko was alive before the seance began? Y huh? Yes, kinda, technically. This is the point of no return, Tenko. At this point, you mustn't speak. Next time you open your mouth, it'll be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Tenko answered Kyo. So at that point, she most certainly was alive. But when the candles were relit, she had already been killed. That meant she was killed in the dark. I'm positive. What time exactly was Sento Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? That may be important to the case. Kibo! Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I will, I will become the guiding light that shines on all of you. Cool. Kyo! That cannot be. Why? Why did this? I knew it. Kyo, I know the murder is pretty shocking. But of course. Of course. I am shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? I was, we performed all the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned about that than the murder. I mean, yeah, he does. Ah, yes. Oh, if we perform the cage trial again and summon Tango's spirit this time... This is stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? I see, yes. True. It may be the best that we move past what happened. But to know why the seance failed, 
Is that so? Whatever, just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle. So her head touched the marker stone. Then, Shuichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. After that, I placed a white cloth over the cage. And then all four of us placed a wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Shuichi blew out the candles. Finally, we all sang the Cage Child song, and the seance should have been complete, oh. but now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. The thunk. Yep, yep, yep. It is a mystery as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud sound for someone chipping. Perhaps Kiyo knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. Uh, we called out to her, but no reply came, so I had Suichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then, we removed all the items from within the magic circle, in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog statue. Next, I then took off the white cloth. And then, Himiko ran over to the cage, the moment she lifted it. Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. Oh, then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. But it would be difficult in such darkness besides. She was inside the cage, then... yes? Then, when was she killed? Well, that's... Yeah, that is the problem. I see, yes. There is another problem, you know. Oh. And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner. Did someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously, the seance was clearly a sham. Maki was never one to pull her punches. Sound during the seance has been added to the monopod. Yep, 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 yep. As, again, further expected. There's more that we have to investigate. Maki, maybe? Well. Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough to walk on. Uh, um... The floorboards aren't nailed down. They're just lying on top of the cross pieces. That's what Gonta told me. That's possibly the reason that they are a little unstable. Hmm. Hmm. They've only been laid on top, so that's why they're unstable. Well, well the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine that they'd come out loosely. Is this? But if someone else wanted to remove the floorboard, they could easily do so, right? Okay. Yeah, I suppose. Is it Samugi Mibbe? Trying to figure out like what. <laughs> I, I said things and made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. Uh, what? Because. Crying won't help bring Tenko back, and if we don't investigate thoroughly, we will die too. Okay. I need your help to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tenko and all of us. I guess. You're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out, so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. Okay. The cloth we've already seen. The dog statue we've already seen. The ruined magic circle we've already investigated. Tanko's body we've gone in. Is Gonta the last thing I haven't clicked on? Oh, no, the candles. The candles. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. The candles hung on the walls. They're the only source of light in the room. There are no windows in this room. So without the candles, it was pitch black. How did the culprit kill Tenko in the complete darkness? Oh, wait. Damn. I was like, duh. I'm stupid. No, I'm, I'm not. We're, we're getting there. Holy heckles. It took us a long while. It took us like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to find this. Bruh. Hole in the corner. What do we even mean by that, chat? There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but Is still. This... A hole. It looks like it, there's space under here, too. Hold on. I can see something below. It looks like it dropped down there. Huh? What? Something dropped down there. 
Was something dropped from here? Hole in the corners and out of the truth bolt section of the handbook. Hey. After we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? You're right. Right, let's do it. By the way. Seems pretty dark down there. What would we use for a light? It's true. Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light from up here. Or uh, let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light from up here, that shouldn't that should be fine. Okay. Then I'll go grab a candle. Remove that floorboard so we can go down. Okay. Got it. I pulled off some of the floorboards near a hole, or near the hole, and took a candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. Whoa! What is this? This is a lot more spacious than I thought. Um, or this is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move e pretty easily on all fours okay let's look around for clues well, it'd be pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty place uh, okay y yeah what oh whoa, 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 whoa the bloody sickle there's a sickle here and there's blood all over it okay. the blood on the sickle is fresh this is it this is our murder weapon is this... This came from my research lab. Huh? It did. Well... A sickle can be used as a, to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality. And you can hide it under your clothes, too. Well... If she was attacked with this, then she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade is about six inches. That's right. And since Teko was in a cave, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But... But even if this is our murder weapon... How did the culprit attack, attack Tenko within the cage? The blade could, or could fit through the gaps of the cage, but it could it reach her neck? That's true. The cage is about three feet high. If you were able to stab it into it with a six-inch six blade, well, it would depend on Tenko's posture. Uh, but I don't think it's impossible that her posture is in the question. Hey. Hey. If the murder weapon is down here. The culprit must have thrown it away, right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle under the floor into the dark. Or they could have been under the floor the entire time, either of which is possible. Sickle under the floor has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Blood stains. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. Fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. Cut cross piece. Oh. Look, part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut off. That's true. It's near the loose floorboard, and a portion missing is the same width too. And from what I can see, it. That's true. It wasn't broken off naturally. It was cut by somebody. There should be saws in the warehouse that they could have used that. So they could have used that. So the question is why? Hmm. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fall if the or portion is missing. Then... So, what purpose does this serve? The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. If the culprit did all of this, then why? That's a very good question. Cut cross piece under the floorboard. Dried blood. Interesting. There's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboard. It's pretty far from where Tenko's blood is dripping down. It's under the same floorboard, but just at different ends. Why is there blood there? Hey. Hey. The back of this floorboard has blood on it, too. Ugh. You're right. There's a little bit of blood on this blood, or on the other side of the floorboard. What do you mean? Did Tenko's blood splatter here when she got killed? That's true. I wonder, but I can't be sure yet. Okay. But these bloodstains are completely dry. There must have been a reason, or some reason these particular stains are dry. Dried blood, blood from under the floor has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Loose floorboard has been updated. That's not it, is it? There's still things I need to investigate. Okay, I was like, that better not be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Some of the wood has been cor has corroded and broken off. So you can see next, or see into the next room. Hey. This 
is a wall of empty room, right? Looks like the wood along the wall. This part is rotted away. Mm. It looks all like natural rot. This hole was not made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the next door is also uh, the next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room, moving under here instead of using the hallway. No. True. But it would have been difficult moving under the floor. We did all right because we had the light. Without it, it would be pitch black. That might have been impossible to move around here. Nope. Then they could have used the light, like we're doing right now. Well. True. They used the light to move around under the floor. Is that possible? No! Could it have been Kibo? I think we finished investigating here. Is that all right? Maki, you want to head back up? Could it have been Ki No way, it's Kibo. I swear. Kibo. Could, or it, it could have been Kibo. I hope it's not, but oh god. That puts Kibo in the spotlight. Maki, you want to head back up? Glad you asked. I'm starting to get fed up with all this dust. Facts. Understandable. After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back and returned to our investigation. Now I probably don't have anything else to investigate because I've gotten, well, pretty much everything. I'm, I'm assuming, at least. By the way. We've only been investigating this room. Are you sure this is wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because. Angie and Tenko have different killer. If Angie and Tenko have different killers, then the Blacken would need to vote, or then the Blacken we need to vote for You're is right. the culprit of the first murder, the culprit who killed Angie. That's what Lanakuma said. Then... So instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Uh, okay. Uh, yes, of course. But. But this is bigger than the killing game. For those, for the sake of those two who died, I need to reveal the truth of both of their deaths. Mm. Well, I understand the way you feel, but. If you plan on investigating the other crime scene, we should probably hurry. So now what? So we have to investigate the other room? Oh no. When I came to the hallway, a scene more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded. What? What? Oh. I cannot believe you, Kokichi! Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Kokichi! What the hell? I actually thought for a fuck freaking second that you were dead. And I was like, my god, there's a third? How the hell am I gonna handle this? Oh no, panic, creep, ah, 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 ah. Like, I cannot believe you just did that to me. Good, okay, again, good writing on Dang and Roll with Team Fart, but Jesus, Kokiji. Like, okay, I guess that, I, I <laughs> d d tell, or tell the audience you care about Kokichi without telling the audience you care about Kokichi. <laughs> But also genuine surprise as well, on top of that. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I surprise you? We're gonna scream and cry in terror? Yeah, a little bit. Huh? What are you doing? Oh? Oh, sorry. I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is a real blood loss. Why? Okay, but what are you doing? I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Uh, but then suddenly, <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. Huh? You stepped through a floorboard? That's so mean. Jeez, uh, that got me good. Cause of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Uh, got a minute? If you're going to lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Ah. Uh, sorry, uh, my bad. Uh, I guess. There was no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> what bad luck. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean... 
No. Huh? We're not gonna be able to investigate. It's over. Confidence, dreams. That's what the killing game is all about. Monica! Literally, he he knows it's gonna give away too much. Ah! Killing game fans, hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes. Baseball, soccer, mobile games. They're all nothing compared to the killing game. The killing game just can't be beat. Behold, students, the entrance to the trial grounds. <sighs> uh, I guess time's up. Oh, oh man, it's because of you guys I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to research that seance again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately, Man. I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance as what was written in the document. He drew his magic circle the exact way as in the picture. And not only that, but he used the exact tools too. So there's nothing suspicious about the whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but uh, I'll tell you about it later. Okay, tell us about it later. <laughs> At the, the the class trial, so uh, see you there. See you there, Kokichi. Kokichi left the blood loss clearly affecting his footing, but bloody Kokichi has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Uh, um, <sighs> Let's go to. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see. So even she gets nervous sometimes. Do you wanna die? What are you staring at? Do you wanna die? Well, in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will be going to the trial grounds and starting the third trial. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day today on this lovely Monday morning. It's gonna be crazy for you guys. Uh, this week, this next couple of weeks is about to be fun as heck. So please enjoy me on this adventure because I'm gonna have a roller coaster if Kokichi showed me anything. Um, my God, Kokichi. But yeah, <laughs> love you all. <laughs> have a good one.